Okay, last question in the paper. Uh, it's quite a long one. We've got 17 marks for it. I just need to be careful uh, to read it. The expression 2x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c has a factor of x minus 1. It has a remainder of 1 when divided by x minus 2 and a remainder of 14 when divided by x minus 3. So immediately we're talking about factor and remainder theorem. And I know that if um, x minus 1 is a factor, then when I put f of 1, when I put 1 into my value of the expression, then I will get no remainder. It's a factor. It divides in uh, exactly. Now, only thing is, I'm going to step ahead of myself here. First thing is I need to define what the function is. And it's simply the expression that we were given to start with. Now when I put 1 into that, 2 times 1 cubed is just 2. Uh, 1 squared is 1, so that's 2 plus a. 1b plus b plus c. But I know that because this is a factor, there will be no remainder. In other words, a plus b plus c equals negative 2. Now the second line tells us it does have a remainder 1 when divided by x minus 2. So when I find f of 2 and put that in, I should get a remainder of 1. So let's do that. When we put 2 in here, 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16. 2 squared is 4 times a is 4a. 2 times b is 2b plus c. And again, rearranging that, we get 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to minus 15. And finally, it has a remainder of 14 when divided by x minus 3. So when we put that in, f of 3 is equal to uh, 3 cubed is 27 times 2 is 54. 3 squared is 9, so it's 9a. 3 times b is 3b, plus c equals, well, we know the remainder this time is 14. Again, just reorganizing that, we get that 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to minus 40. Okay. And now what we have is three equations. I'm going to label them 1, 2, and 3. And if we solve these three equations simultaneously, we'll get our values of a, b, and c. Now, what you'll notice is you have a, a value of, of just one C in each of these uh, equations. So C is a nice letter to, to eliminate. So first of all, I'm going to take equation 2 and subtract equation 1 from it. And see what happens. So 4A minus A is 3A. 2B uh, minus B is 1B plus B. The C's cancel out. Now be slightly careful here, minus 15 subtract negative 2 is minus 15 plus 2, which is minus 13. Likewise, if I take uh, equation 3 uh, and subtract equation 1 from it, what do I get? Well, 9a minus a is 8a. 3b uh, minus b is 2b plus 2b. C minus C cancels out. Minus 40 subtract negative 2 is negative 38. It's minus 40 plus 2. Okay, now we've got two new equations. We'll call this one 4 and this one 5. And these are, again, uh, a wee bit easier to solve. We're getting easier as we, as we go along here. So... I'm going to take equation uh, 4 and multiply it by 2. So 6a plus 2b equals minus 26. And we've got equation uh, 5 there. That's 8a plus 2b equals minus 38. And I'm going to add the two, sorry, subtract the two equations. 8a subtract 6a is 2a. 
2b subtract 2b is nothing, they cancel out. Minus 38 subtract negative 26 is minus 38 plus 26, which is minus 12. And so we get that minus a is minus 6. Well, if a is minus 6, let's look at one of these equations again. Then um, 3 times a is minus 18 plus b is equal to minus 13. So we get that b is equal to 5. And then we'll go back to one of these easier equations here, this one here. a plus b plus c is minus 2. Well, minus 6 is a. b is 5. And plus c equals negative 2. And so we get c is equal to negative 1 overall. Um, we can use these, these values and, and check them out in the other three equations. Let's just look at this one. 4 times minus 6 is minus 24. Plus uh, 5 times 2 is 10. So minus 14 plus minus 1. Minus 14 minus 1 is minus 15. So yes, it works in that one too. We can do the same for the third equation. So we've found our values of A, B and C. Um, what we need to do now is solve that equation. Uh, because we've got 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0. Amazingly, you'll see our value of A is minus 6, B is 5, and C is minus 1, just as we found in the last part. Um, to solve that equation, we need to factorise this uh, expression on the left-hand side. Now, the way we do that is, if we look in the, in the first part, if you remember that we were told that X minus 1 was a factor. So I know that x minus 1 divides into this perfectly. So I'm going to do, and there are other ways of doing this, but the way I like to do it is to do it by long division and divide x minus 1 into our expression. So many times does the biggest power of x here, x go into the biggest power of x here. Well, x goes into 2x cubed 2x squared times, and I multiply through by 2x squared x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. x times minus 1 is minus 2x squared. And let's take away from the line above to see what's left. So minus 6x squared subtract. Negative 2x squared is minus 4x squared. And we're going to bring down the next wee bits. So now I'm saying, how many times does x go into minus 4x squared? Well, minus 4x times. So let's now multiply all of this by minus 4x. So we get minus 4x squared plus 4x. It's minus 4x times minus 1. And let's subtract from the line above to see what's left. So minus 4x squared cancel. 5x subtract 4x is 1x. And we bring down the minus 1. And that's good because we see that, that x minus 1 goes into x minus 1 once. And we'd expect that because we know that there's not going to be a remainder. So, we've got that um, instead of writing 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x minus 1, what we can do is we can write that as x minus 1 upon this times this. 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Now, I'm going to take this quadratic aside and, and, and uh, factorise that. 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 2, 2 times 1, and add to give minus 4. And I puzzled there for a bit because I'm sitting thinking, I can't think of two numbers that, that um, work that out. So I can't actually factorise this. And I really should have, have known that when I started because it does say give your answers in third form. And that's a clue as to, to how this question is going to pan out. 
Because if we go back to this, we can say that either, if two things multiply to give zero, then either x minus one equals zero, in other words, x is equal to one, or 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Now, we can't, we've just seen we can't factorise that. But what we can do is either complete the square on that or use the quadratic formula. x equals minus b, so that's 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 16, minus 4 times a times c, so minus 8, all over 2a all over 4. So let's simplify that. x equals 4 plus or minus root 8 all over 4, which is 4 plus or minus, well, root 8 is 2 root 2. It's root 4 times root 2, which is 2 root 2, all divided by 4. Uh, and you'll notice everything in the top line and the bottom line is divisible by 2, so that's 2 plus root 2 all divided by 2. And we're given our answers in third form. So finally, let's write them out. x equals 1, or x equals 2 uh, plus or minus root 2 all over 2. So minus there.